everybody welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in today i am excited to bring you finally the montage look of all of the pieces that i've done from the soul news collection and the other couple items from the simplicity pattern that i decided to go ahead and throw with this collection so again welcome to all my new subscribers and thank you for those who continue to tune in from week to week so what i'm going to do I'm going to handle a couple of administrative items first and then what I'm going to do is show you all of the pieces and then tell you um, who was the designer for each one of these patterns um, that I'll be sharing with you today. Um, and then we'll go right into, it'll be a video montage and it'll just be me. I don't know how many um, different looks I'll be putting together for this. Um, so... If I count, I'll put it across the screen here, but I just tune in and see um, how I put everything together. So first of all, let me handle a couple administrative items. I have been saying for the past couple weeks, I am so excited. Um, I'm just in the Christmas handmade gift mood, you know, and I've always, let me just say, I've always wanted to make handmade gifts for Christmas gifts and different things like that but I never gave myself enough time to do it has always been the problem and then maybe some ideas and everything so needless to say so the first administrative item I want to handle this week all of this week for those who are interested if you see the video pop up feel free to scroll on past it but for those who are interested you know that I will be going live in November and it's going to uh, be pushed back a week um, because the first video that will be going up tomorrow is the unboxing of the um, Janome machine. I'll talk about that in the uh, unboxing tomorrow. I'm not going to go into it, but stay tuned. Tomorrow, Monday, you'll have that. And then the rest of the week, Tuesday through, I believe, Saturday or Friday, Tuesday through Friday or Saturday, um, I forget, um, you will have a video for me every single day. So this last week of October, what I will be doing, I'm so excited, is kicking off my, um, I don't know what I'll call it, Y'all have a name for it, put it in the description, in the comment section below. I'll use it as the title for the week or whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, but I will be kicking off starting on Tuesday after my unboxing. I will be doing natural, So Natural Danes um, holiday, Christmas, handcraft, hand, handcrafted gifts um, ideas for this week. And then in the month of November, um, I believe it's the second week of November because what I've had to do is delay getting my um, hardware and everything because I got the machine. But um, I'll start off with my lives. Everybody is very excited for the live. Well, quite a few of you are excited for the lives um, of me making my handmade gifts because then you will just watch and um, make yours as well. And so my handmade gifts will include handbag making as well as other little gift ideas. And then the videos this week will kick off different handcrafted gift ideas, different stuff like that throughout the week. And I will even have, I believe there's just one I'll be doing a, a DIY tutorial for. So stay tuned for those videos for those who are interested. And like I said, don't worry about it if you're not interested. Um, and then the month of November, you will get quite a bit, few videos from me um, because, again, it'll be a lot of the um, handcrafted. I'll be going live um, a lot during the month of November. Um, there will be some pre-recorded, but um, don't worry for those who are all, all you want to see is garment and me talking about sewing garments. Don't worry. Sunday and Wednesday will be um, garment sewing. Um, there will be a couple sporadic thrown in there. Um, other garment sewing because I have my Upton um, sew along coming, my Concord tee sew along coming up and the Upton um, sew along coming up from cashmere at pattern so those will be embedded somewhere throughout the month i'll let you know um as we get closer to those and so yeah i am very excited about everything that's coming up in november i'm just in the mood and so heck why not and because it also helps that i do have a better uh camera recording situation that allows me to do videos like these now so let's get into 
this collection and then we'll switch over to the montage and if there are any questions that you have as much as I can I will leave links to the fabrics below and um, I will leave links to the So News pattern collection the simplicity pattern um, and if I think there's one other pattern I'll be talking about that goes into this collection that I will um, link below so let's get into who these designers are of all of these patterns okay so let's start with the top again I'm not going into um, any details I have made adjustments on some of these and you'll just have to go back and watch those videos I will link right up here above links to so watch for the I card to go across here I will link to the individual video so let's start with the tops so the Rimmel tank which is this beauty remember this is the fabric I had picked up from Joanne fabrics this is a this was a poly rayon crepe was it I believe so very beautiful tank this was by um, Kimberly Payne um, at straight stitch designs which I am new to I've never heard of straight stitch designs so that is Kimberly Payne of straight stitch designs um, contributed to the so news collection for the Remo tank <clears throat> Our next top, um, which is by Amanda Caristio. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. If she watches this, I do apologize. She is the editor-in-chief of Sew News and Creative Machine Embroidery Magazine. And so she contributed for the um, Ontario Shell. And um, this was a rayon linen. And this came from Fabric.com. What, um, and now we'll get into the bottoms. Now, you do recall me saying that for the collection, I did not do the Niagara skirt because unfortunately it did not come in, it does not have a very um, um, size inclusive range. So I was not grading it up to try to make it work. So I decided to do um, a different skirt. So that's why we have the simplicity in here. But I did was able to do the Salzburg jacket as well as the Shivano pants. Now the Salzburg jacket, which y'all know I loved how that turned out because I didn't do, no, I did not do my invisible zippers on there. Um, but I absolutely loved the way it turned out. The Salzburg jacket is by Adriana, I believe it's Apple. Um, and she is a Hey June Handmade um, Patterns. And so I have heard of Hey Handmade uh, June Patterns. I've never made one of her patterns before, but I do love the, um, the jacket, the Salzburg jacket. And I will tell you all, it has gotten considerably cooler here in Texas so we're sitting in the 70s 60s 70s um, <laughs> so I know that's not cool it's all perspective right um, but these pieces have been perfect timing and then the Shifano pants these are by Erin Weisbart um, and so she is the publisher of Tuesday Stitches um, patterns and so I've never heard of her patterns um, before um, and so I did the the pants and so you will see a link to those individual videos where I talk about each of those um, one by one and of course last but not least is and you all love 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 this this is by the beautiful Bianca and I do follow her um, with thanks I made it the Emerson tote and so Levon thank you one of my subscribers suggested because I was going to do webbing for the um, the strap the crossbody strap she suggested since I said I had more of this fabric the wax canvas left to you do that use that to make the strap and I was like oh never never crossed my mind so I will be doing that so those who did not see that video I will not go into a review but um, that is the Emerson tote and the pouch and so what you will see is like I said a montage and what you'll see added in which was not part of the Soul news collection you all know I did the simplicity and I will pop up the pattern picture here simplicity uh, Mimi G 8959 um, because I wanted a skirt the collection called for a skirt and it you know that skirt didn't work so I wanted to do a skirt so I did the skirt here this is the shorter version of simplicity 8959 again I will leave a link to that video up in the i cards and then I also did the um the turtleneck where I um shortened the sleeve lengthened the sleeve just a little bit um 
from that same pattern. Now, the other thing I want to show you was, um, because I've been in this color mood for quite some time. Um, if you all recall, I did this. This is the AK Patterns um, Shiona top hack where I did the um, the split sleeve. I talked about that in that video. I will link it up. I'm not gonna go into it, but I can, let me show you these colors. This came from, this fabric came from um, Joanne Fabrics and this is a, uh, a rayon, rayon knit. It's rayon, so pretty, very nice and drapey. But you see those colors? That most certainly can go with the, I believe I can get that at least with the um, pants and the jacket. So we'll see, you'll see in the montage how I'm able to do that. And then this one, <laughs> now this here, I can't, you all know, I, this is my Chanelo Bailey, um, the pencil skirt. So, you know, this was a little tight. It's still a little tight. Um, <clears throat> I have lost a, cup, a little bit, but not enough still to wear it just yet. So this here is, this fabric came from fabric.com and you can kind of see those colors still go with this. So I won't style it with, um, but just so you know, I, you know, this was all part of my thinking when I was thinking about putting this entire collection together. And then last but not least, I have, um, I don't know if you, if you've been following me for any length of time, you know, I did a sew along for itch to stitch Lisbon cardigan. Um, I will, if I don't have enough eye cards, I'll leave that in the description box below. But I have one that's this color. So this was made two and a half years ago, maybe. <laughs> but it's a very nice, um, and the thing with this is all my snaps are on, on the wrong way. Granted, I'm never going to snap this up. It calls for buttons, but I didn't want to do buttons, so I decided to do snaps. Um, so I'll never button it up, <laughs> but the snaps are on backwards. I will admit that. Um, but this um i had saw this and i was like oh my gosh that goes with um my my little collection so um i may see how to incorporate that into this as well in the looks we, we shall see but wanted you all to know i do have a cardigan um that's a couple of years old that will go with this as well so that is it so if you again if you have any questions please make sure that you um, leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, you will have to go back and check out the individual videos to get any details on it because I'm not going to go into that into this video. And stay tuned for this week. I'm very excited for the videos I have. Tomorrow kicks it off with the unboxing of my um, new machine and I'll go into all the details about that tomorrow. But yeah, again, thank you everybody for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it and enjoy the video montage. Bye.